Hey friends, it's Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another drawing lesson. Today, we'll learn how to draw a male figure's arm. Okay, let's begin. So first off, let me explain the setup I have here. Uh, what I've got is a square. It's about uh, 5.2 inches in uh, on both sides. And I also divided it about halfway through here and here as well and this line is about a, th a third from the left so if you divide this part into three parts it'll be on the left third okay um, so this setup will help us draw the shape of the arm here and I'll begin by working on the shoulder muscles and Sadly, in this video, you're not going to see exactly how this connects to the body, which is, I think, a challenging part in itself, but uh, we will do so in a future video for sure. Um, so I begin with a very curved line here, uh, almost uh, circular, and it reaches about a third of this box here. Um, and then I get another small curved line down here. And that is sort of the line that gets um, connected to the chest. Now, when I did my research, I noticed how uh, in addition to this line, we do have this sort of a break here and an additional line. So I'm going to very lightly indicate it now and we'll go into it for um, in more details in a few moments. Now, what you'll notice is that there is another pretty major muscle right below this one. Um, I really don't know the names, so if anybody knows, um, feel free to comment and explain. Um, I've never learned the, these things by their name. I simply learn from observing them. So now we have that other mu muscle here, right below this one. And I'm also using a very curved um, shape here. Now, finish this muscle in about this point, near the center of the, of the square. So it sort of touches the lines of the square. And hopefully you can see this well because I'm being fairly light here. Okay, now underneath it we do get to see some part of a muscle, an additional muscle at the back. Um, and so I'll draw this one as well. And it sort of then turns into a straight line. You see there is a small break here. Very gentle. Now we, we won't go into the rest of the body, but the chest goes like this. But we'll work on the arm in this video. Uh, okay, so now let's continue this line here. And we'll sort of end it about at this point and again pull another line that is slightly curved like this. Now we are basically done with the upper part of the arm. Uh, what I think I'll do now is the rest of the, the, the second part of the arm in time lapse and I'll be back soon and we'll do the arm, the, the hand itself in real time. Okay, so let's get to it. I'll be back soon. Okay, there we have it. This is the, the main entire arm. Now we can begin working on the hand itself. Now, the hand is going to be limited to only this small slice here on the left. Um, and we'll begin by drawing the upper surface here. It goes like this, okay? So this is what you want to um, get in here. So first, a very um, diagonal downwards line. 
again representing the upper part of the hand and from here this is actually the center point this part and it connects directly to this uh, part that's a little fat and connects to the thumb so we get that connection by moving into a curved line here that moves downwards and then indicating the thumb now we have some foreshortening happen here because of the angle of the thumb and I think I might want to get it even more squeezed in due to that foreshortening. Basically foreshortening is when you have an object that's pointed towards you and it causes it to sort of um, look squeezed a bit, squashed. Um, not sure what the proper word for that will be. <laughs> Distorted, I think. Yeah, distorted. So the thumb is sort of pointing towards us. What we see here is this part. Um, now we want to begin indicating the fingers. And so in order to do that, we'll continue this line here. That represents, again, this part. And we can begin drawing the fingers. Now I think the thumb is mm, it looks a bit big to me the way i drew it but let's leave it at that for now um i may correct it later on so first let's begin with the first knuckle here so that's one then let's move on to the second one that's two and the third that's three and this is that finger. Now in this side, we have this sort of a line that curves upwards, which is these folds and wrinkles. And here we again have the first line, the second line, and finally the third one. And that's a finger. Now we will add another one behind it, which is this one. Um, we'll do that in the exact same manner, only a little, very slightly lower. So this is one. And you know what? Even in the same, uh, same line. That's two. And that's three. And imagine that the hand is very relaxed in this, um, in this position. Okay. Usually, most of the time, our hands are relaxed. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't quote me on that one. <laughs> okay, so now for the inner part here, which is a little more, a little darker. You, we won't get to see this part as well as the, the front here. And we can give sort of a hint of one finger here. And another one, the pinky sort of here and sometimes you will notice how the pinky has a different is turned in a different direction than the rest of the fingers so that's something a little helpful and there we have it this is mostly it now what i think i'll do is sort of go in and time lapse and add some shading to this thing just to make it a little um to look a little more three-dimensional and I will be back in a few seconds to wrap this video up. And there you have it, friends, and a male figure's arm. Um, let me know what you think in the description, in the comments below. And also, uh, please tell me if there's something that you want me to touch, a particular topic that you want me to do or to draw. 
Um, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if my videos are helpful to you. And um, also check out my website. It's going to be the first thing you'll see in the description box below and in the end of this video. And you can subscribe and get tons of tips from me personally. Um, things I don't share actually anywhere else. Um, so feel free to check that out. And I will see you soon. Thank you.